What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys had a good weekend. I'm Evil Rabbit, and we are here on Torque Drift. Today, we are going to do another crate build um, car here on the channel. You guys seem to like the first crate build one. I believe it was like 12 crate openings. Well, today, we have a few more crates to do this crate build. Mad Mike with that car sitting right there. 1,223 horsepower. Yup. And then my uh, Pro S14. And then the... Uh, Starting to build slowly up on this uh, S15. Just uh, gonna fit my uh, Mishimoto S line radiator or intercooler. So we are gonna be doing a uh, crate build on the E30. Now the E30 is currently all stock. So I believe I took all the parts off this, except the exhaust. But so it's got one or two little parts on it. Nothing major. It's pretty much. Um, well, we're gonna take off all the tuner parts that we can on this car and make this, uh, I believe there was some parts that I believe I got from uh, some crates prior to uh, doing this thing because unfortunately there's no other cars for me to do. So I uh, had to choose this E30. So we're gonna be doing E30. If you notice back here, we got 23 crates to open for today. So we're gonna be doing a 23 crate car build and then uh, taking it to the track. I believe we have Slab and Hakone and we're gonna be ripping it and see what we can do with 23 crate sponsors. So we're gonna open our first crate here for this E30 and we will get an aftermarket differential, which is definitely a good thing to have is uh, a differential in the car. So we're gonna continue opening our 23 crates and see what we can get. I will always take some money. Definitely will take that. We'll use that for something else. An import engine forged RB2060 ET. Uh, so that's definitely going to be a pretty uh, pretty good pull to get that uh, import uh, RB26 in this car. 5,000K, we'll take that. And then uh, we're just gonna keep opening these aftermarket tires. So, so far, we did get a good pull with a diff and an engine. Pro tires. I don't think we're going to be rocking pro tires on this car yet. Um, so, we got a lot of crates. We're getting a lot of money. Unfortunately, nothing, no parts that we need. So, I mean, I'm not complaining about the money, but this is actually weird. Normally, I get a lot of parts that I don't need. So, I get very little money. And now we're just getting a whole bunch of money. That was like two money pulls in a row. Aftermarket engine. Tune 13B, we already had that, so we'll get to 2,900 bucks from that. But we are going to keep that Forge RB26 in this car. More cash. So, so far, we've gotten pretty much just cash in this uh, pull. What do we got here? We got some Advent wheels. We'll probably rocking those for sure. And uh, I'm actually kind of, uh, kind of very interested with these pulls right now because normally we get a lot of parts, but we're not really getting any parts. There's something. Aftermarket turbo, we already have that, so we will uh, take the money, but we will install it since we did get it on the pull. Pro suspension, that is a huge pull. Fields 442, pro suspension for the E30. Um, that's insane, this CX. I think that's my first pro part other than pro tires that we've pulled um, ever on these sponsor pulls. So we got some aftermarket tires or import tires. So the E30 is gonna have some uh, pretty interesting uh, Pretty interesting set of uh, parts. We got some raised wheels, which so we'll take a look and see which wheels we want to put on, and uh, continue to open our thing. We got some more. We got five more to open, so there's still chances to get some other parts. But we did get a lot of money, so technically we could be adding, um, we could be adding parts with the money that we've pulled. And all these torque bucks, holy cow! This is the most money and stuff I've ever pulled. Aftermarket exhaust, arch performance. Arc performance exhaust, which we already have, so we will be able to put that back on. So, so far, we've got a pretty, uh, we already got that. That's twice. That's two. So, we're on our final pull, final crate for this crate build on the C30, and it's tires. So, because I don't want to buy any crates, although I could probably, I could buy one more crate. So, we're going to see 
what we got going on here first. So we are going to put the uh, the forged. Oh wow, that just dropped the front end on that. The forged RB26 in there, and then uh, we did pull this, so we are going to fit the aftermarket turbo, and then we did pull the aftermarket exhaust. So we're going to put that on there, and I feel like uh, we're already. Are we exceeding our clutch? Is that what it's saying? Higher than our clutch kit. So we don't, so we need to definitely buy a clutch kit. We did not pull the ECU, so I'm not going to put the ECU on. But since we did get all that money for the, uh, in our pulls, we don't even have a clutch available. Well, it's going to make it quite interesting for this, uh, this build here because we don't have a clutch so we are gonna check into our field suspension we're gonna keep that on there so that we did get some a bunch of different alloy wheels so we did get the rays and the advans I think we're gonna actually oh the rays are already on there oh it was, it was these advans that we got no those are stock ones oh we already have oh they already installed them for us okay do we want to go up to 18s though? Probably not. We'll probably stick down to the... No. We're going to go up to the 18s. And uh, we're going to definitely have to poke that out a little bit. So we're going to widen the track a little bit. I say a little bit, but that was a lot. And still want to widen that track a little bit more to get those front poking out some. There we go. And then we're going to go to the back where we do have our diff. So we're do not have a clutch for this car so this is going to make this uh quite interesting to see if we'll be able to drive without the uh clutch to begin oh no i thought we got another sponsor crate so we do not have a clutch for the car but we will hopefully be able to uh do some uh decent work with the car in its current form Pop on those 18s, and uh, we're gonna do a little bit of poke on that because I believe those were tucked all the way inside the car. They're still tucked in the car. Want a little bit of poke out there, a little bit of a wider stance. So there we go. So so far on this, I'm not sure how this is gonna work without a clutch, but so we got a lot of money and a lot of uh, a lot of billions or bullions, and. Uh, this is what we're sitting at on this E30. Forced RB26, but unfortunately our clutch is going to be our downfall. Got people liking Instagram photos. I'm playing Torque Drift, man. Upgrade your clutch to prevent clutch slip. So that's going to be, I think, our downfall with this car because uh, we didn't pull a clutch and we cannot buy said pro clutch because we can't even have the uh, lower clutch. So when does it say we're going to be redoing our uh, redoing parts? It does not say. So I guess we'll just hit the track with this. Limited on clutch power, so hopefully we don't get too much clutch slip. So we're going to head to the to the slab for this car. Give this car a rip. So 20 plus crate opening. We uh, probably should change some tires up a little bit. We got a lot of these Nexen tires, so we're going to drop some of these Nexen N5000s on the car gonna go search for a random uh, opponent here and see what this car can do and uh, hopefully we don't have too much of an issue with clutch slipping but uh well we're gonna find out for sure here and we are going against a stock e30 I mean so we're gonna see how this works with potential clutch slipping and uh, oh my I feel like that uh that's going to be a problem with this car right now. And we are going to be struggling probably to keep this car in line. Jeez, oh man, that, that barrier did not want to let me, did not want to let me win. So I think the clutch is actually having a major, uh, major problem on this car. Because this car does not, um, does not seem to have... The uh, driving forward ability with this gearing so this is gonna be a very tough tough car to crack right now um, 
But luckily, it's a low-class car, because uh, if I was going against some pro-class cars, this would be a, uh, a lot harder of a challenge. Keep looking up at my uh, up at my monitor, like I should be playing off the monitor, but I need to play off the phone. So we're gonna see how we can somewhat get this to work. I'm gonna use all the brakes, and I don't know where he went. I feel like I've bypassed him, and he's just gonna go right through me. Everybody's gotta start somewhere. Everybody can't be like throwing this amazing. Uh, Amazing lines to begin with. I feel like th this car doesn't even have an angle kit. So I feel like we should probably just buy an angle kit for this car. At least an aftermarket one. Because uh, we did get some extra money. But this is definitely uh You really need a good clutch. If you have a lot of power. And we're, uh, we're definitely uh, extending the power on this uh, import RB. So we're gonna back back out. We're gonna go buy a angle kit if we can, which we should be able to buy at least the aftermarket angle kit to start off with. And uh, yeah, we can buy the aftermarket angle kit. We'll get that installed. Since we have the extra money, we will do uh, the aftermarket angle kit. I it's funny how we're rocking a pro, uh, pro suspension on the C30. So we're gonna do all of that how that is. And the clutch is definitely our downfall. So we're going to give it a run at uh, probably uh, we're going to try and run Hakone Skyline. It's probably not going to work out too well with uh, the lack there of clutch. I know I've said clutch a lot in this episode. Don't don't rate don't the, uh, don't rate me in the comments for that. What do we got here? We got a 777 running uh, 430 horsepower. He's running next to N5000 tires too. So we're going to run Hakone and see how we can do it. For those of you who want to know how to get the sponsor crates, you got to have the two ending. Oh, he didn't want to go against me. The two ending sponsorship Drive Motorsports and uh, Kinwangawa Turbo's sponsorship. They give you sponsor crates every so often. And a lot of people have asked me, how do I get the crates? Um, well, that's how. You got to have those equipped as a sponsor, and then uh, you'll be able to get your sponsorship crates. Are we not going to get a battle? Okay, there we go. It's like, is the game gonna not let me battle? So that's how you get sponsorship crates. It's definitely a fun thing to get sponsorship crates all the time. Got people liking Instagram photos up in here. But the problem with it is, uh, if you have high tube cars, you'll end up just getting money, which is a good thing. That's not. Which is definitely a good thing to get money to uh, continue to buy parts and stuff. So we are trying to make the best of this E30. It's, uh, it's a bit of a struggle worth the lack there of clutch and it seems like it's slipping so that is definitely a very uh very bad run we'll probably end this episode off by going either to uh mad mike wadette's um miata or my pro car and having a lot of fun running mad mike's car trying to get that car uh dialed in um to how i like it so we are taking wins though which is uh very interesting with this car so it's uh turned out a lot better than i thought it was going to i was hoping to get some more parts in the crate pulls but you know we are here on torque drift having a lot of fun definitely got a full stack lineup of episodes for you guys this week on uh forza and torque drift and everything like that i am out of town actually in chicago but i did take the time to get the content recorded for you guys and i'll be editing them while i'm in chicago as well so unfortunately, I will not be doing any live streaming this week because I am in Chicago for training. But there will be content all week for you guys. Yeah, this car is uh, definitely, definitely different to drive. Oh gosh, definitely harder to drive than uh, my other cars for sure. But we are making the best of it. So I think we're gonna race this one more time. Crate build, it worked out. Got some good pulls. Didn't. Uh, but didn't get a well-tuned car like we did when we did the S15 pull. But it's definitely a start on this car because uh, we're going to be building this car up because, uh, well, we already working on the S15. Now we got to work on this car and try and get these all cars built up before Torque Drift uh, releases some more cars. That guy just tanked it. So like I said, I think we're going to switch to probably Mad Mike Ledette's 
the next five here before the end of this episode off. I'm probably going to lose this battle because of not being able to get a chase in because I don't know where he went. We're going to try and make the best of the last one wrecked again. So, we're going to switch up to uh, one of our other pro cars. Well, a pro car for sure. MX-5. Which has a nasty sounding rotary. And it's just constantly off red line when I drive the car. It's just constantly matted. Full power, red line, hand brakes, clutch kicks. It's a lot of fun. So if you guys are liking these short trip videos, let me know down in the comments section down below. We did take the win on that one. So we're going to switch it up to the Mad Mike Wadette car to end this episode off. And there it is. Custom car. Mad Mike Widet. If you notice, we have one of every car. We have an aftermarket, an import, pro, and a custom. So, Mad Mike's car. See if we can't find somebody. Of course, we're going to be up in the up in the level of difficulty with the higher tuned car. And uh, I don't think I've run this car in Skyline. There we go. Heroin Hero. Definitely a very interesting name. Get that car up in the fourth gear already. And uh, kick it in the fifth. And kick this car sideways. And try and not do that. So, the car being such a small wheelbase has definitely a different driving characteristic than my other cars. And when you get off the gas, it doesn't. The RPMs don't spool down as fast as my other car. And I just made myself look like an amateur. I swear, I'm a better driver than this. You guys have seen it. But definitely a new car, trying to get used to the characteristics of this car. So like I said, make sure you guys follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. I'll be found in the description box below. And I appreciate you guys coming back, watching these episodes. It seemed to like these torque drift videos. Big thank you to uh, people that are commenting on other uh, other YouTubers' videos about doing a collaboration on torque drift. It would be a lot of fun if I could. It definitely uh, be some really fun content to get some tandems with some other YouTubers that I know play Torque Drift. So, big thank you to you guys for coming back, commenting on the videos, and sticking with me through this Torque Drift game. More updates are coming to the game hopefully very soon. When I find out about them, I will let you guys know. So, I think that's going to do it here for this episode here on Torque Drift here on Monday. So, we did lose that. But, you know, like I said, trying to get used to this Mad Mike car. So you guys know what to do, follow me, tap that like button, subscribe, get bell notifications if you want to uh, get this content as it comes out. So as always, I like thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'm out.